So you're looking for a place to manage all your icons in your project, but you don't know where to start. Well, look no further because our kits are the fastest and easiest way to get Font Awesome running on your website or project. Kit is a collection of the icons and settings you plan to use in your website, projects, or apps. We usually recommend creating a separate kit for each of your projects. Think of it like a briefcase holding all the icons and settings you'll use in your projects. Creating a kit with Font Awesome is now easier than ever and to prove it to you, we'll make one right now. After signing into your account, click the Your Kits tab at the top of the page. If you don't yet have a Font Awesome account, this tab will read Get Started. Don't worry, you can create a Font Awesome account for free. When you first open the kits page, you'll have access to any of the kits you've made for your projects. Let's create a new one by clicking the add new kit button. The first step when creating a new kit is to decide what icon styles to include. You have a choice between our bundled free styles, which include a selection of icons from our classic styles, solid, regular, as well as brands, and our full pro icon library, which includes thousands of icons in the classic, sharp, and duotone styles. You can also select custom icons if you want to upload your own icons. You've selected pro icons, we can make this a pro kit. Once you select the styles you want to use, click next to go to the next step. The second step when creating a new kit is to decide the primary way you plan to use your icons. Whether you want to download for desktop, use an NPM or yarn package, download and host the icons yourself, or have us host your icons, delivering your icons with a kit is super easy. And don't worry, each of these options is available after you create your kit too. For this project you want us to host for you, click the Hosted by Us button. If you already know the website address or addresses you plan to use the icons on, we recommend adding a domain name. This helps control where kits is used. Simply type the URL and click the Add Domain button. Click Next to continue. The final step when creating a new kit is to customize it so you can easily find it later. This is especially helpful when you have multiple kits in your account. Let's create a unique name for your kit so you can easily find the kit you're looking for in the future. At the bottom of this page, you'll have multiple colors and icons to choose from when customizing your kit. You can see this kit is using the latest version of Font Awesome. It's limited to the domain or domains you added and will serve only the icon styles you selected. Once all your customizations are made, click Make My Kit. So you finished setting up your Font Awesome kit and you're ready to use it. Our kits deliver icons to your web projects with just one line of code. To start, copy the embed code from your kit. Then open up your project. We'll be using a code pen for the purpose of this tutorial. Open the settings tab and paste the embed code into the head tag. Click save. Look at you, now you've successfully installed the kit into your project. Now that it's installed, let's find an icon to put into your project. Head over to the Font Awesome page and click the search icon. From here, you can type in any icon Font Awesome has to offer. Let's say you want to add a, I don't know, a space station into your project. Type the icon name, space station moon, and click on that icon. Now that you've opened the icon browser, copy the icon code snippet and head back over to your project. Now all you have to do is paste the code snippet into the HTML tag and click save. And there you have it. You successfully added an icon into your project using a Font Awesome kit. Say you're using your Font Awesome kit, but you want to change some things. You can easily edit your kit by clicking the kit you want to edit. Click the settings tab 
and from here you can make any adjustments to your kit. As you can see, making changes to your kit may impact the way you're able to use it. For example, if you want to use SVG icons instead of web fonts, you can see that you can only use JavaScript in your project and now all styles is selected instead of your previously selected styles. If you need a particular release of Font Awesome, you can change the version settings by scrolling down to version, clicking the drop down and selecting pick a version. Okay, so to recap, you've learned how to create your first Font Awesome kit, use your kit in your project, and update any necessary edits to your kit settings. See? It was super easy, and now it's your turn to go make something awesome.